This is a video for the conspiracy theorists, so put on your tinfoil hat and join me as we dive headfirst into the action and discuss Aaron Rodgers' remarkable recovery, which, as it turns out, may have been influenced by peptides, probably BPC-157 in particular. In Joe Rogan's podcast with UFC commentator and mixed martial artist professional Daniel Cormier, Joe says in so many words he had a heart-to-heart -heart with Rogers and advised he take peptides. Real quick, though, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. It's the only way to support a small peptide YouTuber like myself. Thank you in advance. Moving on. Let's start off with some backstory before we get into the clip. For those who don't know, Aaron Rodgers is an NFL quarterback who plays for the New York Jets, who is, to say the least, quite controversial. So much so that messing with unregulated experimental peptides would likely be one of the more conservative things he has done. Last year, he tore his Achilles tendon and was able to return to practice within only 11 weeks. The caveat here is that he got a very interesting, innovative procedure where a speed bridge is used, a device that essentially anchors the very end of the tendon to the calcaneus or a bone that makes up the heel. And it's a procedure that increases stability and quite often expedites recovery. Post-procedure, the goal is to be out of a boot at the two-month mark, but recovering to baseline can take a significant period of time after that. Aaron Rodgers returned to practice in just 11 weeks, and although he wasn't cleared for contact given the bone-crushing nature of American in football, the speed of his recovery was unanimously impressive. And Joe Rogan and Daniel Cormier get to talking about it. Joe reveals in so many words that he told Rogers to take peptides, and it turns out Rogers is spreading the word that Rogan is pretty much the teller of all truths, hinting that he likely used some after all. We're going to discuss why it's not out of the realm of possibility that BPC-157 could be beneficial for an Achilles tear and repair, but first let's start out with a video clip. Hey bro, you know some of the funny shit I ever seen in my life what when, <laughs> you know what i'm gonna say when aaron Rodgers was something happened with aaron Rodgers, and he said you told him something yeah that was the craziest shit i was like joe's a doctor he was telling me all this stuff it was like he was saying all this stuff and i was like wow he did it but now i'll never question you are aaron Rodgers because aaron Rodgers is about to play football 11 weeks after terrorist security yeah. what is he doing how uh you'd probably have to ask him you know him Yep. Tell him. Do you tell me what he's doing? I'll tell you later. This dude is somehow <laughs> playing after 11 weeks. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Joe, when I saw him on the field throwing that football, I could not believe it. He he tore his Achilles. Yeah. Seven weeks later, he was on the field throwing passes. He got cleared for football activities this week. How? He's 40. Yeah, there's there's a lot of modern science going on here. Look at him. <laughs> I mean, get out of here, man. man. This shit is crazy, yeah. man. I'm like, when I start feeling bad, I'm not calling nobody but you. I want you to tell me how to feel better. How? How? If I had to guess, like, if I didn't know, I would tell you peptides. <laughs> if you had to guess. Okay. Yeah. Because, if I didn't know, I'd tell you peptides. Yes, because, dude, how? Like, yeah. this guy is... That's what, what what I think people should be using for the UFC. This is the the argument for peptides, if that's what he's using. I'm mm -hmm. not saying he is, um, but that's the argument mm -hmm. is that they help you heal. And when you're help dealing you with heal. all these issues, like John Jones, like John Jones should be able to get some peptides. If he did 100%. peptides, would it help his? Yes. Uh... It would help it. It would help his recovery. As you can see, this is less of a conspiracy and more so all but confirmed. And as we know from the excessive amount of videos I've done on BPC-157, it has been evaluated predominantly in rodent studies for internal and external wound healing. As a quick reminder, it's a peptide derived from human gastric acid, a pentadeca peptide made of 15 amino acids that has not only exhibited an ability to impact gastrointestinal healing in multiple physiologic settings, but is also shown in particular to enhance rodents' ability to heal severed Achilles tendons. And that particular convenient fact is the reason why I chose to cave and make this video in the first place. Researchers transected rat Achilles tendons and gave only some of these rodents intraperitoneal administration of BPC-157. These rats showed more efficient healing by different metrics. Not only did they heal quicker, but they also showed greater functionality. From a structural standpoint, these repaired tendons showed stronger integrity with improved 
formation of reparative products like reticulin and collagen fibers. Similar results were exhibited by another study where rodent Achilles were transected as well. This time was a bit different because they injected these rats with corticosteroids as well, and this would essentially inflict damage and aggravate actively healing tissues. The rodents given BPC-157 showed less deleterious aggravation from the corticosteroids and greater overall healing in structure and function, just like the other study. So is it the wildest thing to imagine that in addition to sleeping well, eating well, and going to physical therapy that Aaron Rodgers could enhance his healing with BPC-157? No. Is there equivalent human data indicating the research we just discussed? Also, no. Obviously, there's a huge ethical component to that as well. All in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. If you want to learn more about BPC-157, I encourage you to check out the many, I mean many, videos we made on this channel that discuss the peptide's known risks and benefits. That said, thanks for watching. As always, hit that like and subscribe button, and you have a great day.